Hey, good afternoon to all my Facebook friends out there. <clears throat> it's, uh, I guess, Monday afternoon. Um, I just wanted to um, post a quick video and uh, say thank you to those of you who have already donated to my fundraiser. Um, you know, just a quick background, a little story of what happened. I, uh, I've had my Mr. Handyman business going for about three years now, and... Uh, Everything was going great, and and uh, until the COVID hit, and uh, once COVID hit, uh, you know we had to go under the mandatory lockdown, of course. And then uh, when they lifted the lockdown, uh, we still didn't feel like it was really safe, you know, to uh, put workers out in the field and uh, jeopardize our our customers or the other workers that work for us, and so. You know, we've been holding back and we still haven't opened. Uh, we haven't reopened since uh, COVID. And, um, and then all of a sudden, uh, one day I'm, I'm at home and I started feeling this horrible pain in my foot. And it just kept getting worse day after day. And I finally, about the third or fourth day, went to the hospital and uh, found out I had a, uh, well, initially they told me it was just an infection and sent me home with uh, some antibiotics. And after about another four or five days at home taking these antibiotics, <laughs> they weren't doing me any good because the problem was uh, they had checked for a DVT clot, you know, a venous clot in my leg, but uh, they had not done a test to check for arterial clots. And um, so I, had, I found out I had an arterial clot and... Uh, they tried to fix it with um, the uh, uh, oh the catheter. It's a it's a catheter thing that goes you know through your artery and um, and and a clot bluster on there and and try to roto root you know the thing out and they just could not restore blood flow to my foot so they had to amputate my foot. Um, they amputated my leg just below uh, my knee. Um, and wow, I've never under undergone a, an amputation before. I didn't think. I said, "Well, you know, so you get your leg amputated, not a big deal." And wow, it is a big deal. <laughs> um, it, having a limb amputated is it, it's just uh, unbelievable. It's something I I never never could have imagined. I just didn't think it would be uh, you know something that devastating. And, and then. Uh, to find out after I got that done, uh, I was discharged from the hospital and went home and I got a, a walker and a wheelchair and I, I was starting to starting to get along, you know, learning how to work everything and, and learning this new life and, and, you know, praying that in time I'd be able to get a prosthetic and, you know, maybe it'd go back to the handyman work and everything. And you know, I just love being a handyman and serving the Lakeland community and, you know, all the good people out there. And my job is, my job has always just been fun. Uh, I enjoy meeting the people. I enjoy fixing the houses up and making people happy. And, and uh, after, uh, excuse me, after uh, uh, about five days of being discharged from the hospital, my um legs started hurting real bad around the little stump that I had uh, below my knee and uh, I, it hurt so bad that I knew another clot was developing and I went back to the hospital and sure enough they said um, you've got more clots now in, in your leg and in the little stump that you have and they said we're going to have to amputate again and I said oh my god I can't I just couldn't think I could go, undergo another amputation and uh they did. Uh, they said, we're going to do it. I said, when? They said, now, like right now. And they pushed me up into surgery and, and put me to sleep. And uh, next thing I knew, I woke up. They had cut my entire leg off. Uh, I now have maybe about six inches of stub, um, you know, for a right leg. And um, I mean, I have my my little shrinker device on on there today to you know, shrink it down and um, I don't know if you can see very well there's my this is my regular leg next to it and you know this is my leg now what I have left over here and uh, I'm thinking the handyman 
business for me is, uh, I know they still make prosthetics for people with, you know, uh, only uh, above the knee amputation and you have to have two joints then a knee joint and an ankle joint they're harder to use but people do do it and uh, that's my goal you know I'm just going to keep working harder I'm, I'm uh, I finished the regular hospital part I'm in the rehab part of the hospital now and I'll be in rehab here for a couple of weeks and uh, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna be released but I'm I'm scared because I've, uh, ever since the COVID started, my only income has been $125 a week unemployment because I'm self-employed. And $125 a week is not even enough to pay my utilities. So I started my fundraiser here on this fundraiser on uh, Facebook. And I hate to ask people for money. I hate to ask anybody for anything, but I'm just hoping I'm to I don't want to hand out just maybe a, a, a leg up. If anybody can just help a little bit, just a few dollars, and maybe everybody together, you know, I'll have some money I can pay. I know that since I've been here now, they've shut off my lights and electric at my house and, as I can't pay the bill anymore. And um, I just hope some of my Facebook friends can help out a little bit and maybe I can get caught up. Uh, I put in for a um, disability because uh, I feel like I should be able to qualify for being disabled now, but uh, ooh, I just, I'm scared right now, folks. So anyway, um, hopefully maybe I can make you a more cheerful video tomorrow and we'll tell a few jokes or something and cheer up and lighten up the mood. Okay. But I wanted to say thank you. A few people have donated already, and I, God bless you. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. Um, okay, this is John, Mr. Handyman, signing off from the hospital. Have a good day. God bless you. Bye-bye.